huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Goes to the body there. Here. Beautiful body kick. <laughs> nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, uh, don't you? You love that jab. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nice hammer fist. Both fighters back to their feet now. Left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Wow. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great. And he gets it. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Shore. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Got the single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big, powerful first land. Now he gets back to range. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And that one certainly found the target. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the Matt John's papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in Ready? the previous round, largely Ready? untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. There's no give on that leg kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. What a punch. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Head off the center line, slips the punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Right on the button. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch land. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my John, last right? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's <laughs> over. It's over, John. Trying for a submission here. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> Nicely done. Back to the feet now. Oh, big punch land. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight! as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. 
Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Round three next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, the cardio, the push the pace and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Beautiful strike. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Nice strike landed there by Shore. Double leg is good. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good solid strike on the ground. Both fighters get up now. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, He's already hitting them with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life because the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Dig and kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Connects now with the one-two. Nice. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Whiffs on the right hand. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Great punch. 
Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first How place? How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. You got to change something. And for the offensive wrestler, just continue on the back. It's right. working. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your best. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Good stick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, big head kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Ooh, what a punch. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. What a fight so far! All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight right hand now, just misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He won't finish his fight. Goes in and secures the takedown. Now connects to the right. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. A good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up, drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. 
truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Just over two minutes to go. that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Beautiful kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Great punch, landed with so much power. Back and forth we go. Nice one-two there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. What a body kick. Good punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Beautiful. Final seconds here. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow? Take it down, cut Take it down, cut Over and over to secure these takedowns. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great bodies. Oh! Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at the turtle in that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. Nice leg kick land. Head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up, Morgan. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, 
Beautiful jab by him there. I guess it pays DC to be the longer fighter. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. And they separate. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he was continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, late in the fight now, he needs... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Big punch from the clinch. Good punch lands. Under him. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. When you're in the pose. Oh. Holy smoke, he put up a sweep. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. He played the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl. What a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's over.